Hi there and welcome back to Luxardic. Today we're going to take you for a walk through the 25 most beautiful gardens in the world. This incredible world has so many natural wonders that are truly breathtaking, but there are also numerous man-made attractions around the world that are also worth noting, celebrating and seeing at least once with your own eyes. Take beautifully landscaped gardens for example, they are a great way to enjoy what mother nature has to offer with a little help from some very creative humans. Green spaces, plants and flowers have a way of giving us a sense of calm and helps us find some much needed peace. And another long depressing winter and a surprisingly rainy spring, we cannot wait to go outdoors and enjoy some warm weather. Walking through any of the following 25 gardens from around the world will certainly uplift your mood. From North America to Europe, Africa and Asia, each part of the world has a few exquisite gardens worth making a detour for. Whether you're lucky enough to live close by to any of these wonderful gardens, or if you're just planning a vacation, try to visit at least one of these following gardens if you can. To top it off, they will make for some amazing pictures as well. Let's see which are the 25 most beautiful gardens in the world, in our opinion. At number 25, we have Allison and McBride Gardens, Hawaii, USA. If you're looking for a nice day trip while you're on the island of Kauai, head over to the Allison and McBride Gardens. These two side-by-side -side gardens contain a fascinating history and the whimsical garden will bring you pure joy. Try to include it on your list next time you're in the area. Number 24, Aswan Botanical Garden, Egypt. The Aswan Botanical Garden covers 16 acres full of different species of birds and flora. The gardens contains majestic trees, such as palm trees and a variety of imported exotic plants from parts of Africa, India and the Far East. Lord Horatio Kitchener is responsible for gifting the island to the Egyptian government, who is now operating the gardens. Number 23, Mauritius National Botanical Garden, Mauritius. The lush National Botanical Garden from Mauritius was formerly known as Sir Siwasagur Botanic Garden as one of the most visited attractions in the country. The garden is located in the district of Pamplemousse near Port Louis. Home to an incredible variety of indigenous tropical plants, the garden offers you a chance to explore different plant species. The French influence can still be noticed today. Number 22, Pukekura Park, New Plymouth, New Zealand. Pukekura Park, set at the center of New Plymouth, the breezy coastal city spreads over 120 acres of land, featuring stunning waterfalls and alluring formal gardens. This place is worth a detour. There are many attractions such as the Mishimatori Gate, Cannon Hill, Poets Bridge, and a multitude of fountains and water features, along with gorgeous plants and flowers. Number 21, Jardim Botanico do Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Open to the public more than 200 years ago, the botanical gardens of Rio de Janeiro are located in the south zone of the capital. When the gardens were first built, only the royal family has access to the grounds. But now, everyone can enjoy strolling through the well-manicured gardens and ponds. Some of the areas feature plants that are specific to the Amazonian region, which is always a nice way to enjoy the local greenery. Number 20, Brisbane Botanic Gardens, Australia. Step out of the city and into these lush subtropical botanical gardens located on the edge of Brisbane. The city's exotic gardens spread out over 135 acres and they feature a large collection of native Australian rainforest trees. Other attractions are a bamboo grove, arid gardens that contain succulents and aloe plants, a Japanese garden, a fern house and waterfalls. You can also hike through the scenic spotted gum trail and on eucalyptus forests. Number 19, Vallarta Botanical Gardens, Mexico. Located 11 miles south of Puerto Vallarta, the city's spectacular botanical gardens feature more than 3,000 species of plants. Along with a wide variety of flowers, there is a vast area of tropical forest. There, you can hike or swim, then go admire the blue agave plants or any other flowers that catch your eye. The garden is registered with the Botanic Gardens Conservation International in England and you can also watch the multitude of colourful birds. Number 18, Kemrokuen Garden, Japan. Once part of the outer part of the Kanazawa Castle in Japan, these gardens were created over two centuries ago. The main goal was to build the perfect garden, which contains six elements. The antique elegance, artificial construction, a magnificent view, 
spaciousness, tranquility, as well as water features are all incorporated into this natural wonder. It features a tree house that was built in 1774, the oldest fountain in Japan, as well as almost 9,000 trees. Number 17, Sanssouci Park, Potsdam, Germany. Surrounding the splendid Sanssouci Palace, which was built in 1744 by Frederick the Great, the King of Prussia, Sanssouci Park is one of the loveliest gardens to visit in Germany. While the king went for the park to serve as a place to cultivate figs, grapes and plums, he added a terrace garden that had an amazing view. You can see a vineyard terrace, a hedge quarter, a Chinese tea house and more than 3,000 fruit trees. Number 16, Shinjuku Gyoen National Garden, Japan. Formerly a residence of the Naito family, Shinjuku Gyoen is now one of the most beautiful gardens in Tokyo. In spring, you can see more than 1,000 cherry trees in full bloom, which is quite a sight. In the fall, the Japanese maple trees show off their gorgeous colours. It is a beautiful public park that contains a formal, a traditional and a landscape garden. Number 15, Villa Efrussi de Rothschild, France. Located on St. Jean Cap Ferrat on the French Riviera, this charming garden is also known as Villa Ile de France. It was originally constructed for the Baroness Beatrice de Rothschild, who was a keen gardener. She designed a few themed areas herself, such as a Spanish garden and a Florentine garden, just to name a few. We've been there just a few weeks ago and trust us, it's even more beautiful than it seems to be in all the photos and videos you'll find online. It was so nice that we just didn't want to leave this place and it also has a wonderful restaurant and a lovely terrace on site. Number 14, Gardens by the Bay, Singapore. One of the newest gardens on our list, Gardens by the Bay, opened its doors to the public in 2012. Since then, it had more than 50 million visitors and that number is growing every single year. In these mesmerizing gardens, you'll also find Cloud Forest, the second tallest waterfall on the planet. There are also three waterfront gardens and a grove that holds 18 luminous trees. These extraordinary structures are linked by an elevated walkway where a restaurant is located. Number 13, Nong Nooch Tropical Garden, Thailand. Spanning over 500 acres, the Nong Nooch Tropical Garden is easily one of the most beautiful tropical gardens in the world. With more than just pretty flowers, the botanical garden includes a whole resort. There are restaurants, a swimming pool, and a luxurious accommodation on the site, as well as cultural shows presented at the Thai Cultural Hall, make it a whole adventure. Number 12, Kirsten Bosch National Botanical Garden, South Africa. Spreading out over 1,300 acres of land and located at the base of Table Mountain in Cape Town, Kirsten Bosch is widely regarded as one of the most beautiful botanical gardens in the world. Showcasing more than 7,000 South African species of plants and flowers that are native to the region, it makes their landscape gardens magnificent. The tree canopy walkway is also worth walking through. Number 11, Dubai Miracle Garden, UAE. Photographers and content creators love taking pictures at the fabulous Dubai Miracle Garden. With more than 250 million plants and 50 million flowers, it is a real paradise on earth. The largest natural flower garden in the world spreads over 72,000 square meters and it attracts more than 1.5 million visitors each year. The largest floral arrangement in the world is a replica of an Airbus A380, making a Guinness World Record Breaker. Number 10, Royal Botanical Gardens at Kew, UK. No garden list would be complete without at least one UK garden. The Brits are famous for their elaborate, perfectly manicured lawns and green spaces. Therefore, you must visit at least one of their multiple gardens while in London. The best place is the Royal Botanic Gardens at Kew, which also has hidden gem on the site, the Marion North Gallery. The Victorian building is worth a visit on its own, but the hive, the treetop walkway, among many other attractions are also a must-see. Number 9, Longwood Gardens, United States. If you happen to be in Pennsylvania and have a 3-4 hour slot to spare in your day, these magical gardens are definitely worth a visit. The massive Longwood Botanical Gardens extend over 1,075 acres and you can visit any time of the year. Before the holidays, you can admire the Christmas-themed garden and at night, the open-air theatre fountain shows are a small, illuminated wonder. Blending engineering and horticulture, the Garden Railway is a popular attraction along with the main conservatory. Number 8. Monte Palace Gardens, Madeira, Portugal 
With an extensive collection of exotic plants from all around the world, Monte Palace Gardens is located on the beautiful Madeira Island, spreading over multiple levels and with more than 70,000 square meters of land, these breathtaking gardens will prove to be a lovely day trip. Depending where you are located in the gardens, you can get some fantastic views of the sea, as well as of the city of Fongal. Along the stunning gardens, you can also admire the important collection of 15th and 16th century Hispano-Moorish tiles. We've been there two years ago, and it was easily one of our favourite places to see in Madeira. Number 7. The Butchart Gardens, Canada One of the most popular tourist attractions in British Columbia, the Butchart Gardens get more than a million visitors every single year. Created by the wife of a cement manufacturer, Jenny Butchart, right in the heart of an old limestone quarry, this place is a National Historic Site of Canada that attracts people from all over the world today. The breathtaking Victorian garden holds over 900 plant varieties and it has so many picturesque corners and the gift shop and the on-site restaurants will make your stay here even better, so you don't have to rush through the entire site. Number 6. Villa des Gardens, Tivoli, Italy About an hour outside of Rome and Tivoli, you'll find this sumptuous 16th century mansion, home to a breathtaking Italian Renaissance garden, the terraced hills of Tivoli Gardens are simply magical. With an astounding 500 fountains and sculptures of nymphs, this site is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Its most notable feature is the Fountain of the Organ, a marvellous water feature worth photographing. Number 5. Gardens of Versailles, France Another iconic French attraction, the formal gardens from the Versailles Palace were created by the French landscape artist André Lenoir for King Louis XIV. Spread over almost 200 acres of land, the massive Versailles Gardens project took more than 40 years to complete. Among some of its most notable features is the large parterre with their symmetrical and elegant patterns. With more than 220 sculptures on site, it is also among the largest open-air museums in the world. And Queen's Hamlet, a charming model village, is also a must-see. Number 4. Isola Bella, Italy Located close to Lake Maggiore, Isola Bella, or Beautiful Island, is one of the three Borromean islands that is owned by the Borromeo family. They've been the owners of the three islands since the 16th century and Isola Bella houses a gorgeous Baroque-style garden. On the garden site there is a Palazzo Borromeo, as well as a few artificial grottos. The emblem of the family, a unicorn, can be found in the Teatro Massimi, alongside a few other statues. Number 3. Jean de Majorelle, Morocco This mesmerizing garden is associated with the late French painter Jacques Majorelle, who inspired the site. It took almost 40 years to complete Jean de Majorelle, but it was definitely worth the wait. This tropical garden is spread over 9,000 square meters, and it is characterized by Moorish and Art Deco influences. In 1980, Pierre Berge and partner Yves Saint Laurent purchased both the gardens and the villa located on the site and renovated them. Paul Sinoir designed the vibrant blue villa in the cubist style which makes it a focal point amidst the lush gardens. At number 2 we have Fondation Monet in Giverny, France. If you haven't heard of one of the most famous impressionist painters in the world, Claude Monet you need to get out more, or do a google search at the very least. The gardens that honour the late painter are located in a picturesque area of Normandy. Fondation Monet gardens are truly sublime, if we may say so ourselves. They are typically open from June until the beginning of November. The Japanese style gardens as well as the pink house where the painter used to live are their more noteworthy stops. And top of our list at number one we have Kirchenhof, Netherlands. Famous for their tulips and lots of other flowering bulbs, the Kirchenhof, nicknamed the Garden of Europe, is among the largest gardens in the world. Located in the town of Lies, in close vicinity to Amsterdam, it spreads over 32 hectares of land. The only thing to keep in mind if you're planning a visit is that it is only open from mid-March to mid-May generally. Each year about 7 million bulbs are planted and it boasts around 800 varieties of tulips. Supplied by the growers in the area for free, it is a great place to visit if tulips happen to be your favourite flowers. These gardens don't compare to the ones we have in our backyards, but they are so breathtaking we just can't help but draw inspiration from them. At the very least, they make for a few wonderful hours spent outdoors and a few gorgeous pictures. 
And so we've come to the end of our walk through the 25 most beautiful gardens in the world. We hope you enjoyed our list and let us know down below in the comments if you've ever had the pleasure of visiting one of these beautiful, beautiful gardens.